If you're like me and you'd like to sew and do machine embroidery and lots of other crafts, you'll find that the supplies for these hobbies quickly add up. So today I'm gonna to share with you some ways to save some money by shopping for sewing supplies at the hardware store. These magnetic parts holders are perfect to use for pins instead of pin cushions. I like to keep a couple of them, one at my cutting table and another one by my sewing machine. I've used them for years. You can actually get similar ones at the sewing supply shops, but they cost a lot more money. This telescoping magnetic tool is perfect for picking up pins that you've dropped. This suction cup handle is very similar to the one I use to hold my ruler when I'm using my rotary cutter, except it was a lot less expensive. Painter's tape. I use it all the time when I'm doing machine embroidery. I use it a lot of times when I'm putting things in the hoop, like onesies or shirts, and I need to hold parts of it out of the way because you can stick it and then pull it up later and it doesn't leave any sticky residue. I also use it when I'm sewing. A lot of times on my machine, I'll use it to mark uh, where my seam allowances should be. These grommet pliers are great if you do machine embroidery on vinyl or if you sew bags and you have a need to put grommets in. Uh, you can make keychains with them, bookmarks, uh, use them on purses, lots of different uses, and they're much cheaper at the hardware store. This is one of those situations where I'm just kicking myself. Just last week, I was making an apron and it called for grommets to hold the straps in place. So I ran to the local sewing shop and bought a set there for probably three times what these cost. Don't make my mistake. If you need these grommets, go get them at the hardware store. If you're like me, you may be misplacing your screwdriver that you need to take out your bobbin case or change your needle. It's always good to have an extra set. I saw this hang all and I thought this would be a really cool way to hang up your embroidery hoops. You could actually prop some on top as well as hang them from the pieces that protrude. So I'm gonna hang this up in my sewing room and use it to organize my hoops. Do you have a problem with people trying to use your good fabric scissors for things other than fabric, like opening mail or cutting open cardboard boxes? Buy lots of these inexpensive scissors, leave them around the house, and save your fabric scissors for fabric. I was doing some machine embroidery and I was having some difficulty keeping the item in the hoop and keeping it still. Somebody recommended I pick up a couple of these clamps. So I tried them out and sure enough, they actually did work. These spring clamps work great when you're trying to hold pieces of vinyl or leather folded over together when you don't want to put pins in them. Uh, they work really great instead of pins. They also work great when you're doing machine embroidery and you need to keep things out of the way of the hoop. These hook and pick sets work great as sewing stilettos. If you're having to maneuver fabric, uh, like when you're sewing and you need to get really close up to the needle, you really don't want to stick your fingers under there. You can use one of these stilettos instead. I also like to use them when I'm doing machine embroidery. If I need to hold down some fabric, like when I'm appliqueing, I don't want to get my fingers caught under that needle. I use locking clamps like this all the time when I'm sewing dolls. When I'm doing the limbs, a lot of times the it's too skinny to stick your finger in, but you can stick this clamp in when it's inside out and pull it right side out and um, you can get all the little edges of it pulled out. It's just sometimes really hard to wrestle those small pieces, so these locking clamps work great. Storing sewing supplies can be quite the challenge. You've got lots of little items like thread and needles and pins and buttons all sorts of notions of different shapes and sizes. And guess what? The hardware store has all sorts of storage options. And most of the ones that I saw were less expensive than very similar things at the sewing centers. So if you're looking to reorganize your sewing stuff, take a look at the hardware store and see what your options are. I just love to use canvas drop cloths for projects. It gives you a large amount of fabric for a very inexpensive price. It's machine washable, you iron it, and you can turn it into all sorts of things like zippered pouches, decorated tote bags. It's a very economical way to get large amounts of very durable fabric. 
If you're like me and you're always putting down your scissors or your seam ripper and you never know where it is, these magnetic strips are super helpful. You can hang them up on the wall and or put them near your cutting table or near your sewing machine and keep everything within easy reach. If you have other ideas of items you can buy at the hardware store and use for sewing or embroidery, I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.